Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jason's Hintz here with you as always. And uh, this week I'm going to be going over uh, how to not hit your forearm when you're shooting your bow. A lot of people I've been talking to in the last week have asked me how come I keep hitting my arm. It's really upsetting, it hurts really bad, and you know, people kind of gets you discouraged to shoot almost. And uh, it's something that you don't want to have to think about while you're shooting is, oh boy, am I going to hit my arm this time or not. So a couple of simple structural form issues that is probably going on that you can fix very simply just by, you know, practicing it or getting it in your head so that you'll do it every single time. The first one is your feet. When you walk up to the target, the more you do this, eventually you'll get so used to it, you won't even realize that you're doing it. But you don't want to be standing directly sideways so you're shooting at the target this way. You want to actually turn your feet so that your shoulders are a little bit turned and your whole body turns a little bit, not just your front foot. You can turn the whole thing about uh, probably an inch forward on your back foot and an inch back on your front foot. Just so that you got a little more open stance basically so that when you're shooting, your arm's more in front of you and it's more out of the way of the line of your string and you can get more bone on bone action with your whole arm system. Um, the next thing is going to be the bend in your arm. You know, you don't want to be locked out perfectly straight as hard as you can because one, you're going to shake more, and two, the more bend you have, just a nice little tiny, easy bend in your arm is actually what you want so that you'll hold steadier as well. But that right there will also move your arm a little bit out of the way. It's going to make it a lot better chance of not hitting it. The final one is probably the most crucial actually, but uh, it's something that is a little bit more weird to get used to. It's all in your hand that you're holding your bow with. Most people grab their bow just like they're going to be grabbing some stake in the ground basically. What you want to do is how you would lean on a wall. The way I do it basically is when you grab it, instead of grabbing it like this, you're going to turn your hand so that's more of a stop sign, just nice and up so that when you're holding your bowl, you're going to again turn your wrist almost out of the way and again it's going to be moving your entire arm out. The easiest way to do it, just practice basically. There's a lifeline on your hand, try to get it more towards your thumb. So when you're holding your bowl, turn your hand up. This is something, make sure you do it before you pull back. Too many people pull back like they always do, and then they try to turn their hand while they're doing it and everything, and that's not going to work because, again, you're going to start moving your hand on your rest, you're going to start putting torque on it in different directions, and now you're going to not be shooting as well again. So before you even pull back, instead of grabbing your bow like this, make sure you turn your wrist out so you're holding it in the most firm position possible. So again, we're going to go get our feet opened up. When you pull back, have a nice slight bend in your arm and then have your grip turned out ahead of time so that again your whole arm's out of the way of the string and you're going to actually hold a lot more accurately if you have your arm bent like that just a little tiny bit and you have your hand in the power position take your shot nice and easy and it's going to be a lot more successful aiming wise and you're not going to be <clears throat> hitting your arm the entire time and it's going to be a lot more fun so again go over these three little steps next time you shoot see if you're doing them whether you hit your arm or not it'll help you aim more it'll help you aim better and it'll make you just a more comfortable shooter so if you guys got any questions, check this out on YouTube or uh, get on Facebook. And uh, as always, have a good week.